In a bottle, in a cup, which has Nescafe, and we have two impromptu guests, two rappers from the local community. Welcome, say hi to the pot. Hello. Say hello to the pot, boys. Hello. hello pot. We have two rappers from the city. Okay. Oh, they're there. Go, go. You should, if you want to follow the rap, the link is here. Okay. I thought we weren't doing that anymore because it was too much of a pain. No, right me. now it's, it's, it's a good segue. Oh, okay. Anyways, Jitsen is a YouTuber, a TikToker. And also, what else? What else would you describe yourself as? A content creator. A content creator, which is good. But also an influencer, apparently, more than now. Mm. Would you consider yourself an influencer? Uh, not really. I think I would prefer going by content creator. Content creator, yeah. I am a bad influencer, mm. as, as my mother calls me. I do remember reading a, I remember reading a paper that was written back in 2018, mm. which says that a lot of the time in social media, mm-hmm. women are called influencers and men are called content creators. Like, the what? language that is used. Mm. What do you think mm. that is the case? Maybe back then. Because nowadays... Back everyone's then, but then again, content creation is relatively yeah, new. Yeah, it's, no, but then like... Mm. Content creation is relatively new in our context, I would mm-hmm. say. But in the in like in the rest of the world where the internet's been around for a while, it's been going on for yeah. quite a bit, though. Yeah, like it's just this interesting, like videos. how again, like the, the terminology. Yeah, terminology is used. Okay. Anyways, if this is the first time you're watching the pod, this is the side pod, the podcast about nothing, and we might get traction now because we have a popular uh, content creator in our midst. She is only our fourth female guest yes. in 19 because, episodes. Like I said, we uh, I'm bringing in Jitsen for. Um, Representation, like like last time in the, <laughs> seminar, in the, in yes. the seminar. Speaking of the seminar, Shib, I saw your vlog yesterday. Yeah. yeah I think finally I got featured on the vlog. Mama, I made it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I just made, it. Aja made Aja it. made yeah. it. Yes. I featured on the vlog. And he, I didn't. I saw the behind the scenes. I didn't know you were that nervous. Yeah. I was you very know. nervous. I was shaking when I was answering the first yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then that's interesting because you literally go in front of a camera and talk to like God knows how many people I think your views are, you have quite a lot of subscribers as well as viewers mm-hmm. yeah she has like 20k so it's quite interesting that you still feel nervous about it Not an, it's, not ne- it's not necessarily a bad thing mm-hmm. I just find it very interesting that people who do this yeah. tend to get very no but there's I like think you don't have to see the people no? when yeah. you're up there you see the people I also got taken a back because you see a bunch of people looking at you no, at the same this point. is where being visually impaired really helps <laughs> I'm not kidding you like It helps. By the way, Kinle is oh, almost uh, legally blind. Oh, same. 70 to 80 percent. No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay. He's minus 10 and minus 9 on his eyes. 11. Yeah, he's uh, not. This is 11. Not legally, like, not like, oh, I'm legally blind. No, he's <laughs> legally okay, okay. blind. <laughs> oh. Are you wearing contacts right now? No. It doesn't help. If you want to know more, there's a YouTube documentary on Kinle. Oh, no, it's BBS oh, BBS. Don't, no, no. Don't, Why not? We're plugging that shit right here. It's right here. Watch it, okay? Don't. And empathize with Kinle. <laughs> and, his, and his road to becoming one of the three blind mice, okay? <laughs> who's the, who, who's, who are the other two? That's your journey, the hero's journey, to find the two other blind mice. I don't mean to say, I don't want to cut away from this, um, so, but there, I have to share this funny story because yes. once I was performing in Mojo, mm-hmm. and you know Mojo has that wooden barricade, right, in mm-hmm. the front, that countertop whatever inside yeah yeah inside mm. it's like stage oh yeah yeah that thing. thing so as i'm performing i noticed this one guy is sitting like this so he's sitting looking at the wall mm-hmm. but he's grooving to the music okay. and he's like continuously looking up then he's like head banging then he's looking up and he's singing and i was like just looking at him and then i got off the stage and then he and comes, connected like oh no. blind man to blind man i got no, you no, no. <laughs> he came up to me and then he was like oh really love Jasset. You sang a lot of songs that I grew up on. It's so like 80s, 70s stuff. Mm. 
And then I was like, but I noticed you were sitting facing the wall. And then he said, oh, I'm deaf in the right ear. So I listen with my left. Oh. So I had to face this way. Oh. And then I was telling him, well, I'm partially blind. Now, how about we go find a guy who's got half a tongue and we can all form a band. <laughs> half a mute. Oh, that's so cool. Like half a tongue. Like you, you can't hear well. Let's find someone who can't speak well. So that guy can do bass because you can feel the vibrations. And you He's can actually lead, a really good song. You can be the lead singer. And then the, dr- and then the guy who can't talk for shit can be the rapper. No. <laughs> Mom, don't no. Oh, literally. No. Touch again, 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 touch again. So, you have any stories like that? Random stories of blind yeah. people with half hearing. I feel like a lot of the time, whenever you talk about people with like little different like di- disability, a lot of people immediately become a little like uncomfortable whether or not they want to share certain things that they have about them. Yeah, but then again, not people are like you know who embrace your. Uh, mm. What is it, faults? Is it? What would you say? I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. I but that's more comfortable in, 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 in talking to you like that. No, maybe with somebody who's not, who's mm-hmm. quite sensitive about it, I would not talk the same way, no. So people who are blind, no, I would apologize. I'm not being serious. He's just a kid has a very thick skin, literally. He's a fat man. Yes. I am. Okay. I am. Anyways, now we did not take me back to the guest. <laughs> yes, sorry. I, I had to click <laughs> that tangent. Okay, yeah. anyways, let's go back to that seminar we did more part. Mm-hmm. Stay in the home, bit. The nervous, the which questions are you taking you thing back? The questions or looking at the people or the being there? Just being there, I think. No. But it was the first question because I had to, we were given the questions beforehand, right? Yes, and so we had to prepare it. Be ready, yeah. So yeah, I I was like I had a ready a ready made script for it, mm-hmm. and I couldn't like see everything that was written on the ah. paper. I took the paper and the pencil. Yeah. I wrote everything down on the paper and I took it <laughs> but on the stage. That. But in the, what I've learned also, like sometimes, Shira, what you plan doesn't really come out. Yeah. yeah. Because now I also, I mean, there I thought I'll say, say this joke or I say that. I had the, it doesn't go according to plan. Maybe. Yeah. I think it was because the questions were already given that mm. made me nervous. Because mm. the other questions that followed up, it was quite easy to answer. Mm-hmm. If you actually like, I'm for me personally, I'm not somebody who enjoys giving people questions beforehand. Mm-hmm. Because then what I feel is you restrict them to give them yeah. to give a box answer yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. where they can't elaborate about yes. certain things. Because then in your case, for example, because you prepped it, right? Mm-hmm. If he comes up with a follow up question to mm-hmm. that, which is not prepared, then it becomes hard for most people to like quickly mm-hmm. jump into other, you know, answers yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. And I wanna, one thing I've noticed is a lot of Bhutanese interviews are held in that style yes. mm-hmm. where they give you questions beforehand. And then they just, and then once the people are ready with the answers, they do it. Mm-hmm. And then after a while, if that somebody asks a follow-up question or has the mind to ask a follow-up question, it just thumps people because they're like, like this wasn't in the list mm-hmm. of questions that you had for me. Well, that's what makes the charm of the podcast that we mm-hmm. with right now. It's a conversation rather than more of a set mm. question interview. It's always better to do it conversationally. Okay, now, see that thing I told you to say that time when the question is Which one? Same, same, same. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, but in your show in Kuzu, well, how do you do it? You give them the question or you just ad hoc? No, I never give them the questions. Mm. I tell them that this is what I want to talk about. Mm. Mm-hmm. I ask them, like, what are certain things that I should not be? Because especially when, for example, I had a, I had a psychiatrist, one of the counselors for the psych ward, as my guest. Mm. So I asked him what are certain things that I should be aware of Mm -hmm. because I don't want to, you know, downplay mental health, but at the same time, I don't want to reveal certain details that could Mm. potentially be a little um, uncomfortable for people who are, who know or are currently visiting the psychology world. So, but then after that, it's just ad, like ad hoc. It's like mm-hmm. I do my research beforehand and then I just, as we talk, talk, it just sort of like I can come up with questions. Mm. Speaking on that, last time when we were doing that seminar, that a UN gay, oh, she kept mentioning that we should talk about mental health, no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like apparently, like, luckily, she didn't ask me hate the mother, eh? Or do you have, have you been receiving hate of any kind? Um, mm. So, so? Not really? Rarely. Rarely, Very that's good, rarely. no. But then the, yeah. the, the UNGP wanted us to address that, no. Mm-hmm. But then luckily, at least now, Jason has not faced, we also haven't faced that much. Mm-hmm. But then that was one thing they wanted us to address, no. But I think mental health also, not just in terms of whether or not you get hate comments, but 
how overwhelming it can be yeah. to have to yeah like mm. i'm sure you go through that to a certain extent because i think youtube has this weird thing where if you cross a certain number you have to like post on a weekly basis and mm-hmm. you know to keep your consistency. consistency and i think that's that plays i feel like that wreaks way more havoc on certain mm-hmm. people and yeah. other yeah like um my last video i posted before yesterday's video it was i think a month ago so you had pressure to yeah i had so much pressure but i didn't have like um enough videos mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. compile everything and put it up so that was kind of like um pressuring me to like you need to do something or you come up with a content mm-hmm. and like i think that was quite well, overwhelming but your plan here come up when you make videos like this you're like okay no. for my next video i want i'm going here so i want it to be around this so i need to get any any or just just like oh the day this week i went this 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 i shot this this i just stitch it together and upload mm, it i think it depends on what i have scheduled like like for the past few months uh, f- uh, fast uh Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Fast. Yeah, we got, we got. <laughs> kidding, this is a podcast. We don't do that shit here. Okay. No Past few weeks, mm. I down, was yeah. interning. <laughs> I was like going to to seminars. I had a shoot with Bibi, so that was like I was more focused on those areas of my mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have anything like planned. So I never the But then again, you're doing that stuff in your shoot minimal. Yeah, just I never the the video doesn't get uh compiled like smoothly mm. Mm. but if i don't have anything on my plate if i have if i'm home i'll just plan something like maybe i'll do like a what i eat in a day mm. and something so i just uh, plan like that or... but I, i'm thinking i should plan more because yeah. like travel especially i'm focusing more towards travel you can be the next dunker you know uh, jitens get away Oh. Yeah, yeah, mm. shit. Uh-huh. Hey, how you like that, Dinka? We saw your idea. Huh? I was about to say oh, almost everything has a getaway now. Like yeah. Yi Yi Yong has Yi getaway, yeah. then Dinka's get away. No, I'm not going to be like this just trying Kinda's getaway. No. Creator. She doesn't it's want to be, be that. Yeah, it's going to be more focused on my lifestyle, but mm. I would like to travel more outside. Mm. Bhutan. No, outside Timpu and Paro. Yeah. Cuz I've only been to five Dongkoks. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you should do that, no. Yeah. You should do that probably then. Tempo, Get out of your Paro. comfort zone, travel yeah. to like east or south. What are the five Dongkoks? Timpu, Paro, Pansi, Chuka, Chuka, sorry. Gasa, Punaka, Wangdi, oh. Six. Six. I mean, if you're going to go to Punaka, you're going to be in Wangdi. It's yeah. like literally like, hello. How could mm. Popchika do you? Yeah. So we had the Popchika vlog. Did you have a yeah, yeah, I did. I that's, did. That's the one popular thing people yeah. do. Yeah. I'm actually going to Popchika now, but man, my head sucks. I don't know how long it takes. It was my first time also. Popchika. When, when I went to Popchika with my wife, she beat me over the head. Why? You know that crane is there. There's this crane that's flightless, right? It's lo- it's got a wing issue. Yeah, yeah. So there's oh, one. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard it's about called that. Karma the crane. Oh, so cute. And he has a mirror. Uh-huh. So he looks in the mirror just to give the illusion that he's got friends. Oh, that's so it's so sad. It's kind of sad. It's so sad. And I kept like looking at his cage, and everyone's like, I, I, and I was just like, I wonder how he tastes. <laughs> Why? I just that was the first thought that popped in my head. I was just like, I wonder how he tastes. And my wife's like, whack. <laughs> She's like, you don't say stuff like that. I was like, why? I was like, it's, it's a genuine thought. I don't. I'm not going to go and like butcher the thing. I just wonder how it tastes. Some things you keep it to yourself, though. Right? <laughs> well, I did whisper it. It's just that she was standing really close I to me. I wonder how it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, then, guys, look. Chicky, now vlogs is over. Now, how long has it been? Uh, I think it's been over a year. Mm-hmm. I started yeah. like last fall, summer. No, no. Yeah. I thought you used to make. Wait, it was. Oh yeah, I was like, wasn't it before that? You started doing it from the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. last year summer, I think. Okay, so. Lockdown. Why does it feel like it's been longer? I don't know. Maybe because she has also I, I Instagram a following, mm-hmm. also uh, oh. TikTok more. Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why. Maybe also. that's Maybe why. Because you've been in the loop. Maybe. Mm-hmm. So what was what started more following was Instagram or TikTok? followers mm. uh i think tiktok mm. it's what, easier to get more followers and what do you think gives you that that the, the edge which not edge also that that x factor which you think people like watching your your stuff whether it be tiktok mm. instagram or youtube mm now i'm not get i think i'm shadow banned but what's shadow ban it's like how do you explain it um it's like not completely not coming banned. on your explore page or your for you page oh not recommended Oh so, yeah. Yeah, not in your recommendation. It's called shadow band there. Yeah. Shit, new term. Okay, so how do you get that to that shadow band area? 
I, I don't know. I think it randomly happens, like algorithm kungi. I think it just works like mm-hmm. that. Could if be you're consistent. Not consist- yeah, yeah that's consistent. Cool. Okay, but before you consistent, what? Yeah, last year, like I was just home in Paro. I had nothing else to do, so I was making a lot of TikToks. Mm. And I think um, one of the reasons why I got uh, more followers then mm. was because I was following the trends. Ah. The dance trends. Ah. Now they don't have a lot of like dance trends. It's more like uh, showing off your face and doing transitions. But ah. Last year they had more dance dance mm. trends. Good, good, good. I mean now almost everything's a dance challenge. But then again, mm. if you want to get viral, you have to follow the trend. So mm. you, know, you have to follow the trend or do something which will make a new trend. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like uh, like a couple of years ago that any uh, Drake that. What is that? Kiki Kiki challenge. Um, what is that? In my feelings. In my feelings mm. challenge. Like that, that guy opened the door, started the trend. So yeah, that's which, which led to a lot of yeah. recent killer version Squid Game. Yeah. If you did something yeah. Squid Game related, yeah, yeah. you. I had a good idea, but we were all freaking Same. busy. Same. What was Same. your idea? Tell me your idea. Uh, Someone might steal it. We'll, ble- we'll bleep it if it's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, I just want to. So we to... say we do not edit our podcast. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, screw you, it's my podcast. <laughs> I just wanted to try out the games. Oh, that's like a good idea. Rookie, good idea. like the techniques they use. Okay, mm-hmm. my idea was Budanese squid games, so like chunky, you know. Oh, larval, yeah, that's larval, a good idea. You know, pencil trope. Mm-hmm. Is it topa? Topa. Pencil so topa. Copy. Copy. You know, and then, like, I've oh, never heard of these fit. games. Oh, you oh, 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 she's, oh, she's, 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 yeah, yeah she's, she's, <laughs> she's, she's not that young. She's just no, she's, like, she's, she's younger than my younger brother. What was the games you used to play when you were growing up? Am I right? Oh yeah, am I right? Oh yeah, yeah, hopscotch. Am I right? That would yeah, be the right. English name. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. I'm, but am I right is more like our. Yeah, word. it's our word. Delicacy. It's skip. our word. <laughs> skip. Chunky zini mi. Chunky di. Never did marble. Lover, lover zini ga. Lover. Oh yeah, eh, no, the jumping, mm. jumping, anything. Oh, no, lover, lover. So you oh. connect the rubber bands and level one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level yeah. two. I speed mm. really good and at that. And then after you finish level ten, you do the. You jump on the rope and then you jump down, no? In bade. First you just go up in bade. Oh yeah. The second you jump on the rope yeah. and you have to go down in bade. Mm. Used to find that game sadistic at you some point because, because that game. no, like See. if you weren't tall, like sometimes you had to like reach with your legs and like pull one of the rubbers down so oh. that you could I jump. I did taekwondo <laughs> once, so I'm yeah. like I can really. Come here, here, build. I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really good or brown? Really bad? Blue? Huh? It's okay if it's bad. What's wrong with you? You just tried it out the minute they want yellow. It's really good. Black. It's really good. You're a black belt in Taekwondo. What? I'm yeah. just kidding. Yellow. <laughs> oh my god. We're finding some new shit, secrets out there. Uh, sticking with the Asian theme we are. <laughs> Hi, I'm from Asia. Do you know Taekwondo? That's racist. I'm a do you know? Well, yes, but that's not the point. <laughs> I'm a yellow belt. I'm a yellow belt. Well, mm. what were we talking about before we got, got distracted again? I never. Oh yeah, videos. So yeah. Videos. So then, so so trends memo. Yeah, people even kill Sang Yeon. Sang Yeon Chopper. Do you know Charo? He's he's good with TikTok these days. Also, he's always been good. But mm-hmm. I think he follows the trends really well. No. Plus, he's he very al- creative. Yeah, yeah. He's creative guy. And he also starts trends because he usually gets called to like do certain, create certain challenges. Yeah, yeah. And Sushi also does. Yeah, Sushi also uh, does. Uh, right now, she's doing the bad chick challenge. Yeah. She's oh. the one who's the innovator. Yeah. Hashtag bad chick challenge. Shout out to Sushi. Yeah, and Hashtag shout out, shout out to Sangeet. Sang- which me? Did you see his Malaya jewelry thing? I Post? saw. Yeah. Yeah. That's like I awesome. don't have oh, yeah. TikTok. I, pull, I post it you know, when the jewelry is soft on your skin as <laughs> much as it's their hands, you know. Oh! Uh, uh, you didn't get it? Uh. Yeah, I got it, got it. Show Taigen. Did you watch our show, by the way? No. You didn't watch our show? Okay, so th- show? this is the final time that Jitsen oh. will be okay. joking. <laughs> no, we're cutting this, we're cutting this early. But she's someone who have a show about it. Oh, I haven't watched. I have Samu, but it's like really... Okay, no, we'll uh, show you where it is. Because, because Samu, if you guys are watching, oh, oh, ni mo. Oh, ni mazam. Our show is it is a show, but it's a series and under but we are under shows for some reason. And I mean you go to shows, no, it's all Sogar Rimboche's teachings and it's our video. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so you have to go to shows, maybe was it? Uh-huh. All Sogar Rimboche's teachings. Yeah. Mm. Well that is a f- that is a weird form of humor in a way. I haven't even what? watched teachings. No 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 stories. not not the not the teachings. <laughs> I'm saying the situation that the we situation. are in. Ah, maybe it's because our outrage is gone. But anyways, like you show the you should check it out. It's on the show's section, no? Mm. Okay, there. after Chasing Stars. You didn't watch Chasing Stars also? I thought you'd be on that there. No, but I think they asked me before. What? If I wanted to. Act? 
cast yeah. in the show. Mm-hmm. Mm. But they didn't they didn't tell me the title of the show but I it's think they, I think series, yeah. yeah they were like it's more like a K drama would you be interested and I said no I can't act You can't act it. But no, are you into K dramas? Mm, do you enjoy K Yeah I, I do. Okay. Are you into are you interested in acting? No I'm not. Not not yet. You're okay with the vlogging and stuff. Yeah that's more comfortable. Comfortable yeah. yeah. But how about getting out of your comfort zone? Hmm? Getting out of the comfort zone. Maybe in a few years, but not now. I'm no, not no. ready. No. She's young. She's got time. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta, you gotta do all that yeah, stuff yeah, before you yeah, hit 25. Because yeah, yeah. once you hit 25, things just go like. And, and, and for women, it's sad to say, but once you're 25, you'll be under that. No, you get to go to the attitude world. But while as 20, up to 25, you'll be like fresh face. No. Mm. At least how this industry works. Mm. No. Mm. But then, yeah. Bhutanese people, people get still think man. I don't viral. think that works in our industry. That's more or less something that happens elsewhere. I would suppose. I think like a lot of the Asian film mm. industry for example I mean if you're really good at it there are people who still portray very young characters though they're yeah. in their 50s and their 40s True I mean have you ever seen Shahrukh Khan play the role of a grandfather <laughs> Well he's like almost 60 now isn't yeah, he Yeah but he doesn't play grandfather roles have you seen Salman Khan play the roles of grandfather no, But their their type cast that's, to be a his Yeah that's what oh, I mean. Amitabh Bachchan yeah this was Bhagwan huh this no, was Bhagwan was like really huh? old by then How old was he I mean this Bhagwan I think he was like 60, man. You know, he played a 17-year-old... Sorry, he played a movie when he was yeah. in his 40s where he was he played a younger dude. Mm-hmm. Pa. 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 Mm-hmm. No, no, pa. No, no. That was kind of insensitive. Pa. This is like a really old movie. Uh-huh. It's like before Amitabh Bachchan had the beard. It's like when he was comparatively younger. <laughs> uh-huh. So he was 40 then, and he yeah. played a 17-year-old guy. No, he was 40 and he played the love interest to a... 18 or 19 year old girl but like something like that I forgot the even movie even Rajnikanth fact, Ru- fact check me on Rajnikanth this Rajnikanth in a robot movie that he play he, his love interest is Aishwara Rai yeah. and Rajnikanth is like 70, 100 years old well now we know who's dying once they enter South India <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> South Kerala yeah but then like so is it like you don't want to act do acting right now or is it that something that you yeah. are you think you could possibly do it in the future I don't think I can do no. it cuz I I tried it once yeah. in Malaysia yeah I eh be acting ji bagit ji not not like a uh, film acting but for uh, ad- some content yeah some TV ads no ads and all of fine skit. yeah skits and all of fine but much I just had to flip my hair like this but I couldn't do it it took me like 13 just did 14. it right now <laughs> no but she didn't I do can't, it. I can't she didn't do it, it like sensually <laughs> no not not like that flick it flick it much it Maybe the director just wasn't happy. <laughs> But then again, that takes is yeah. normal. The Take fifty hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> But then even the hairs like, <laughs> like <laughs> ah. was it shampoo hair. <laughs> no, no, it was just for uh, content. Uh, this guy's a streamer. He wanted to do some content. Mm. I think it was Dota Love Story or something. Mm. Sorry, I didn't see that. Do she's, doing, she's, doing of, she's doing a lot of streaming. You, you, you could do also streaming, man. Yeah, I I was doing streaming for a while, but you were playing also Dota. Or? No, no, I was playing PUBG. Yeah. Then stream the other day. But for phone, I'll stream the other day. No. We give uh, emulator. 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 Mm. Text on the other day. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It was it was when I was in Malaysia, not now. I need a new pack of one, don't they? Viewers of me too, yeah. It was doing pretty well, but I mm. just couldn't be consistent. Uh, <laughs> procrastination, nation. Mm. Mm. Well, streaming is something that. But streaming is so good, like. Yeah, no, it's I always good. assumed yeah. streaming yeah. was just for video games, but then later I found so like much, so uh, many weird people doing yeah. stream. Right. Like, this is fascinating. Like, I, I watch an ASMR stream. This okay, girl just comes mm. here, takes a freaking book, and does this. And I'm like, oh, I love it. I <laughs> I love it. And people are don- and donating two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. Hi, notice me, you know. Mm. And she's just being like, yes, hello, hello, yes, thank you, Mr. Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> Ocean's blue. We're very sorry. <laughs> He had a problem with the eating during the last episode, apparently. Oh yeah, one of our thing. Yeah. It was unnecessary. Unwanted. Eating, unwanted unwanted yes. eating. Uh, it wasn't unnecessary. It was unwanted. Unwanted ASMR. So there's no. Are you go planning to go into ASMR? <laughs> I love ASMR. ASMR is nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes when I can't sleep. sleep. No, mm. it's really I awesome. can't do I ASMR. ASMR. Yeah. Especially you put earphones on, uh, and she's like whispering. Hello. <laughs> This video was sponsored by Honey. <laughs> honey is the new promo code. We're giving Honey money. Don't. Okay. This is but. 
brought to you by. How do you say it in Song? I don't know. <laughs> Sip Jam. That's B. I know. Sip Jam G. T. I don't know. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, I just love it. I was like, I don't care. No, just tell me the ads. Read Shadow Legends. Oh, God. No. Like, I don't know. Like, it's, just, like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's just something that I can't I get I like into. listening. I, mean, yeah, but mm-hmm. I like when you do role playing. Like, Hello, Corpse Bride. What are you doing here? Uh-huh. Stepsister. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. It's not nothing sensual, man. Just like listening. Be quiet, makes you, bro. Makes you damn <laughs> relax and then you can sleep nicely. Yeah. I That's usually what? watch the eating ASMR. Oh, no, 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 crunch. Oh my god. Wait, I check. watched some people. <sighs> okay, next time when this comes out, we put earphones in this on the one. Okay. I feel like we'll get like a I lot think of we're, we're, this is a new revolutionary thing. We're doing ASMR podcasts. Mm. But then again, people podcast do MR. <laughs> people mm. do podcasts for like one hour and you more. Sorry, mm. ASMR is one hour and you more. I don't know, like, there was this one point where ASMR just became such a big craze where almost every YouTuber, like, back then, ASMR became like this. Really, I feel like, because I, I remember, like, a lot of people talking about ASMR and now it's not as much. Mm. But there was a time when people were like, everyone was like, listen to this person's ASMR, mm. listen to this person's ASMR. And I'm like, why do you all need people to whisper in your ear to sleep? Wow, it sounds that amazing. That creeps me out. Since, since you're, you know, you're visually yeah. impaired, your senses are heightened, man. It's hear. a myth. Huh? That's a myth. Okay, but you tend to rely on them more, uh, so your ears are more no, alert. It's and you not that I don't. It's not, it. No, it's not that I don't enjoy listening to something when I'm sleeping. Mm. It's just that ASMR doesn't do it for me. Like I prefer listening to conversations. Mm-hmm. Like that's why I listen to podcasts when I sleep because I like listening. How to about the conversations talking. by whispering? No. no. So no. I was thinking about you know the other day when I went to the grocery store and there was no kewa, and know? then I had to scream like I was like ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mukbangs no. are not bad. So. Wait, but this mukbang creators mean the ASMR creators. Mean I thought you were doing. Now I can be the ASMR mukbang creator. No? I I did one mukbang. We mukbang to be. Yeah. I think I saw with you and your friend. Yeah. Yeah, she's hard. She could. No, okay, what would but mukbang we need like proper mic, mic and setup. Actually, this is pretty. I was about to say like this girl. And then uh, there's a mic called Zoom. Zoom is Mishega. It's very cheap. Mm-hmm. Not cheap, very cheap, but like reasonable, around, like fifty dollars to hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and then it's portable. And you can just like and be and be shy. You can do whatever, and then mm. you can catch very well. I have it. And then I think I want to try it once. Yes, more more more. Yeah, more. That'll be something new. I enjoy like. It's kind of weird because my sister watches a lot of mukbang and she'll be talking to me about it and she'll show me some stuff and I'll be like watching it and some of them is really interesting because I'm a big foodie mm. and some are just disgusting. Like I saw this one dude who had like like noodles that were like up to his chin. Was he obese as hell? I think he's the one. Uh, that Nikocado dude. Inna. Yeah. <laughs> like this much noodles. And as he's talking, I was like, I think this guy is going through some mental health issues. Yeah, mm-hmm. otherwise if you want to eat this. And then my sister and then my sister later on told me that he actually is going through some issues. Uh-huh. And then I was like, that's a little unhealthy because he's just like really become he's like unhealthily. Yeah. I don't mind you anyone can be overweight, but I think there's a point where when your health starts to get really and affected then he's by he's capitalizing it. on his gluttony. I don't I wouldn't I don't know about that, but then I just watched him eating and it's this weird thing where you feel sorry, but you can't also stop watching. Yeah, you have the problem. You have yeah, the problem. And then, no, I was like, what's going on? And then I went into the comment section and I could see a lot of people who were like, take care of yourself. Okay. You know, take a break. Like, don't do that. I, but then, I think that's the like, good part. No, the yeah. YouTube filters all the positive comments. Yeah. No. no, actually, the negative filters, if you like, if you go keep scrolling oh. towards the bottom, you find a lot of negative comments. Yeah, but in the ones who are thumbs up, no. Mm. So that's why humans generally are good. Yeah. No. And we are generally, and we can be horrible and shitty as well. No, but then again, think about the always the top comments are never the shitty ones. No, it's yeah, no, no, the, it was always the positive ones. Unless, was like, we, fat unless, fuck unless, like, unless we pin. Bro, get your shit together. No, yeah. unless you pin, yeah, of course. Yeah. But then, what about mukbang ASMR while telling the news? So they, so they rape. That's a, one girl in Mongar got raped and killed again. Why did your brain go to that? <laughs> I'm like, just saying why was news, that? Though. I mean, I know, news, I, I know. Every time you check the news, what do you I, see? I know. What do you see? <laughs> huh? Somebody always getting raped in this country, okay? <laughs> All right. I agree with that. No, no. uh, I agree to a certain extent with that statement. Okay. Anyways, let's go back to Jitsun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Jitsun, what is the inspiration? She vlogged first, and was the inspiration of Gaiwi. Who was that person you looked mm. and said, well, that's not bad. Gaiwi, and Jitsun, 
Uh, I think it was just a, ro- a lot of random YouTubers, especially vloggers. Mm. Um, I don't, I don't think I remember a name, but who's your favorite? Who's your favorite YouTuber right now? Uh, Michelle Choi. Michelle Choi. What is her content? Vlogs. S- yeah, vlogs. Mostly lifestyle, fashion, beauty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she can, shows lifestyle in New York. Oh, so, you, life in New York. so you're trying to emulate that kind of her style in a little bit. Mm. I think so. She, mm. I, uh, she, her videos are not like all fancy, like not very uh, scripted. It's all natural and very minimal. So that's why mm. I like. It. Also, she doesn't talk a lot. I wonder. Yeah. She lets the. Yeah, I don't. I don't scene. like it when like, the YouTuber like, you know, talks a lot. You know, mm. I don't think no like the show. <laughs> 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 it's all about. No, no, it's no. a shatter, yeah. 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 Anyways. I mean, then, but then that is the point of a podcast. Yes. Mm. I used to watch a lot about Casey Neistat. Sugar. Mm. He's a he's a very popular vlogger. When I was uh, watching a lot of YouTube during college days, his vlogs are not bad. Mm-hmm. Then uh, David So, you know David So? He's a fat Korean guy, he's pretty mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. So he's watched a lot of these kind of vlogs. I, I think, unofficially made a, maybe the first vlog, you know, I think. Because my vlog, I had one, man, that put them 2013. Of course, not many views, but then I was thinking, like, that could be unofficially the first YouTube vlog, no, Bhutan. Mm-hmm. Like. But then again, yeah, let's go back then. But don't you get burnout? I feel like, especially like, like when it comes to like vlogging, I feel like at a certain point you hit burnout. But then, like where you're like, where you're like, okay, what do I do next? Which is different, and not a repeat or a rehash of something. No, that's like, um, f- like my vlogs are mostly like uh, the things I do. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, okay. So it's not like uh, I'm forced to doing it, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not forced to doing it. Like, mm-hmm. I just flim it along the way. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to, like, really plan about what to do next. But mm-hmm. I do sometimes, like, uh, plan maybe, like, if I've been to a lot of cafes, then I just think about the cafes I've not been to. So I try uh-huh. to go to those places. Mm-hmm. Has anyone ever, has anyone, has any cafe, like, approached you and been, like, for some marketing? Yeah, like, you know, I, shout out our cafe, come to our cafe, come to our cafe. That's our put on a video. So. Yeah, I've still been working with one mm-hmm. uh, mountain cafe in Paro. Okay, uh-huh. the new one. Okay, so you kind of partner with them, Zumchinda, like yeah. a sponsor, Zumchinda. Mm. Okay, and I also did Smiler's Cafe. Oh, that's in Bazum. Still haven't that been went, there. Yeah, when also. it just opened. No. Mm. So, uh, so kind of cafe. You must have been to every cafe in Thimphu and Paro now, man, relatively. Think so. Yeah. so what are your top five cafes in Temple? Shling! Top five cafes? And top five, top five cafes. cafes. Okay. <laughs> um, cafes. What is Where your favorite is cafe? You don't need no particular order so you don't offend any cafe yeah. or gender. Okay, okay. Um, Martin Cafe for sure. Mm-hmm. Not because I'm advertising them. Okay. But okay. they have like really nice uh, ambience. Uh, the interior is also really nice. Very mm-hmm. warm. Mm-hmm. Um, Second would be Art Cafe. I li- really like their totse. Oh, totse. Yeah. Not too. Chicken totse is really nice. Um, then, what else? Um, You're really going down the list. You can, you, can, you, can, you can stop there if you want. <laughs> I can't think of any <laughs> other. I like, I, when I was. I like restaurants. I have a oh, lot of favorite okay, restaurants. Okay, let's talk about restaurants. Hayate. Hayate is your top one, no? Huh? Mm. Yeah. Hayate and Not Pigs. Oh, good. I like their Shout chicken. out to JJ and Pika. See, I'm giving <laughs> some shout out finally. Now give me some free drinks. Okay, nice. <laughs> and I also Or like discounted like drinks. Yeah. The Wednesday. The Wednesday. Where's the oh, Wednesday? Oh, I've not been to the Wednesday. That's, they have bento uh, boxes. They have the bento boxes. Oh, bento I think box. I saw some HFL post. Yeah, yeah, I saw them. Mm-hmm. How, how, what kind of like, is it like set bento so you get like random, here's your bento box. It's set, yeah. I mean, they, just, they have um, beef and chicken. Mm. There's three or four pieces of sushi. Mm. They mm-hmm. have the chicken curry, rice, mm. kimchi. I think that's all. Okay. Mm. So Hayate also, I love Hayate because I, I like my Japan and the 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 way they have do the service. Is, mm. I think because she's a Japanese jinda, mm. she has taught well. Mm. And plus now that the button system, you know, like mm. bing bing, and they come, so it gives me that ambience. And plus the that chashudon, I love the chashudon. Oh, I love that. I love the tonkotsu. 
とんかつラーメンね。とんかつ。とんかつラーメン。I wish they are good. とんかつラーメン、you get a big piece of pork or the jacket. Yeah, they used to have that before. ミンドスンだとミンドスン。Now I think they're using local pork. Get your shit together, Haya. They put a nice shot shoe. That's the charm of とんかつラーメン。Come on. And it's not とんかつ、it's とんこつ。I recently learned. とんこつね。Because katsu means to cut no. Cutlet. But こつ、I don't know what that means. So then what Around. And then not to mix that the. Yeah, I think. I like the chicken is really nice. Yeah, I like this. I like the chef the, beyond. The, the, what's it called? Uh, the chicken wings. The platter. The French fries. The, the bottom. Uh, oh, minced. Like, minced sesame chicken. Which one? No, no. It's just like list. How many times have stir you been there? Stir fried. It's my minced, friends that every week you eat it. Stir fried minced chicken and. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. With rice. I like the. I like the fish. I like that. The trout, the trout. Oh, yeah. The trout, yeah. The trout. I tried it when we went for the shoot with mm. Jimmy.、Mm. It was really good. I love fish.、Mm. Mm-hmm. The thing, the food, I think, is the, the, the charm of n o t o p i c s But、yeah. now these、right、days, now. they're bringing in good bands also, and then there's good ambience. Happy, yeah. Happy for my, I, I enjoy it. It's kind of interesting because if you look at the toilets in n o t o p i c s they're actually, it's not male and female. It's named after what a female pig and a male pig are called. What is a male pig called? A hog. And what is a female pig called? Sue or sow. Oh, is it, I didn't see the sow in the girl again. Sow, so do you? I didn't see it. I saw female. Was,、uh, no, he told me because JJ was telling me、mm. that they had done that previously. I don't know if they still have it right now, but he was explaining to me like、mm. because everything is so pig themed there.、Mm. So they had even made the toilet signs like、mm. male and female, like hog and sow or sue.、Mm. But that kind of explains why. In movies, you hear people calling female pig Sui. Oh, shit, okay. They're okay. just gonna Sui. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I get it. One thing which is good, I think you guys didn't try it. Chicken sandwich try it. That's my favorite. Don't like bread. It's really good. It's really good. It's, like, it it's very affordable. It's like, it's like $2.40. And you get this big ass chicken sandwich with like two big chicken pieces inside. No, the fried chicken.、So mm. That's my favorite thing. Have you ever been to like these hole in the wall restaurants though? Yeah. I went to a place in、uh, Barbisa called Taco House. No, 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 I don't mean stuff like that. I mean, like, 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 I mean, like really, like these dingy little restaurants. Yeah, it was dingy. See,、oh. oh, there's one in Hong Kong Market. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thali, I saw it. No, no not Thali. Thali, they sell、uh, the veg momos, the small,、uh-huh. small ones、okay. we find、yeah. in j a r g o n g Eh, no. Oh, see, it's so good. I, I mean, their easy is made of dale also, so it's、uh. like spicy and good. There's this、mm. one that me and my friends always go to whenever we want to go have lunch. It's、uh, run by this,、uh, it's called Soltini. Well, we call it Soltini.、Mm. It's at the bottom of the、uh, chopstick shit we're doing. It's gone.、Yeah. Oh. It's at the bottom. And usually people wait in line to eat lunch there because their food is、oh. really good. And like, it's such a small space, it's smaller than, our, it's smaller than the editing room that we have.、Mm. And、mm. everyone's like in line to like, eat. Is this one? You, no, this, no, this is. This one I want to try. t h e r e are smoothies. smoothies you might want to say the name so that people no, no, no. know what you're talking about. No, if it's bad, the review, then I want to shout out there. <laughs> Do it. Okay, good. This is. This is smoothies are nice. This is a, food. We haven't tried it. This is, this is auditory mukbang. We're not, we're not showing the food. We're actually giving、like、genuine. About the we're、food. giving genuine.、Uh, what do you call?、Uh, our, is it mukbang or mukbang? Yeah, whatever you feel like.、Mm. But then,、uh, yeah. And another place which food which I feel、uh, one of my favorites is last time. Remember in the coffee culture, the sesame chicken is my favorite. Yeah. Say、huh? Yeah. I'm still. It's getting old、mm. now. It's getting old for、mm. you.、Yeah. I'm、Maybe、still indifferent. I'm just recently someone recommended me some Italian chicken. So it's,、uh, it's, it's still like for me. I'm still indifferent to it. I don't like sweet But,、mm. flavors on my meat.、Mm. What? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> What'd you say? I know. I don't、But、like still, sweet meat, yo. Okay. But still, the bang for the buck. Is Burger Point. I was about to say a whore. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> burger Point, yeah, but I, I, well. <laughs> and I have to agree with you, Dawa. The beef chapter.、Uh, the beef chapter, though. Oof. You、yeah. cannot beat Burger Point, Meme. Seriously. This is not being unpaid, unpaid marketing for them. You got the price point,、What's、the service. The roast and grill, s a i Chi. Oh, yeah, that's, in, uh, that's also in, in, in the、yeah. Mutang. Eh, that's roast and grill. Yeah, I thought it was the same as in Baza. Baza is chill and grill. That's chill and grill.、So oh. chill and, I thought it was the same place.、Yeah. I, ordered a, I ordered a full roasted chicken from Chill and Grill. Yeah. It's 500 bucks. Yeah. Nice roasted bird, but it was dry.、Mm. The whole point of, like, it, it, you don't, like, when you roast meat, you don't want it to be dry, you know? Like,、mm. you want some juice in it,、mm. like, and it has to be、oh. well marinated.、Mm. 
it's just really dry so my sister literally like whipped up her own sauce and she's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, just, you just buy a normal bird they yeah them. No, but then I, I'm, I'm always curious to try because I haven't tried the shawarma there because they said they do shawarma. I was, I love shawarma. 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 But Malaysia is just so the more. All the Arabs live in Malaysia. You can get a lot of shawarma there. Mm. You can, like, literally every, like, corner you go, yeah. there's some guy with a big ass <laughs> chicken guy. He's like, you want shawarma? Shawarma. <laughs> you go touring, you come. <laughs> shawarma. Mm. Because that's when I realized it's not shawarma, it's shawarma. 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 Roast and grill, what's the good thing? I roasting? had the Zinger Burger. Isn't the Zinger Burger a rip-off of that Burger, burger King Mambo? Burger King the Zinger Yemen? You know, it's also a... Mic, it's also a uh, no, KFC. Oh, they yeah. KFC, sing, sorry. Oh, yeah. They yeah. have yeah. the Zinger KFC Combo King. meal. Mm. So it was like that. So it's, it's a dry day, but I wanted that. Fried chicken, yeah. Yeah. Mm. The, uh, my Acho, he ordered uh, something juicy. I think it was beef. Roasted beef. Mm. It was really juicy. Mm. Roasted beef, yeah. Mm. That's why, like, when you roast meat, you have to make sure that yeah. it's nice and juicy. I think. But there's two ways you can do that: either slow cook it for a long time, mm. or like make sure that medium rare. Yeah. Can we stop talking about food? Because okay. I'm, I'm hungry like, too. Really I'm hungry. <laughs> Come take out. <laughs> you know, it's kind of weird because today in the morning, okay. I, like, I was watching. Oh, they sponsor Jitsen and sponsor us for food. Yeah, <laughs> like, assholes. Okay. <laughs> I don't think now they're going to blatantly <laughs> call them assholes. <laughs> What but like uh, in the morning I woke up and I follow this uh, YouTuber he's actually a really good chef Nick Di Giovanni okay I, I forgot if that's his real name I mean uh-huh. if that's his name but he showed like how to make ramen fried rice Ooh. which I've been I've, dying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen I've it been on TikTok I've been to try that so plus the ramen and yeah, you know, like, oh, yeah I've been like the whole day today I was like mm, I really want to try that now <laughs> we're probably going to go and make it yeah, I, I make that also when I'm hungry I don't usually. like mixing Rice with noodles. Okay, yeah, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes I'm like hungry, there's a little bit of rice, I'll make coca, then I'll put the rice together, ketchup, blue, we fry that shit together. Ketchup? Yeah. Okay. I like sweet shit, man. Sorry, I'm sorry. Like, that's your personal thing. Like, yeah. for me, sweet stuff is like. Mm-mm. No, man, everything with ketchup makes things better, including chocolate cake. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My teacher once saw a kid pour ketchup on his ice cream and eat it. I have no clue what. But then it is very sweet, no. Mm. Maybe it's the thing. But I think there's a lot of sugar in ketchup, no? Don't you think? No. It probably does. No, maybe that's like 60 grams. Of have you all ever had blue ketchup? Blue ketchup. Yeah. It's ketchup with blue food coloring. I have no clue, but I remember seeing. A, I I saw it when I was in class seven, and that's how much it surprised me that to this day I've only seen it once, but I still remember it. Well, won't that be cool? No, five minutes now, blue bed, the food become bluish. Eat that no. It's, it looked like you ate a Smurf. <laughs> alien food. Alien food. No. A Smurf. Or an Avatar, because Avatars bleed. Oh yeah, that too. Blue. But Avatar, the story of Avatar is actually a Smurf story, no. Easy. Really? There are blue people, okay, which they get their land taken away by some oh, alien. By an evil wizard called Gargamel? <laughs> <laughs> because somebody does a theory about that. Right? Okay. Okay. Anyways, let's take me to something else. Because yeah, I'm because i hungry now. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sure like everyone who's watching this is also yeah. like, <laughs> no, I really like, need to try it now, the roasted <laughs> stuff. I had heavy, I had heavy lunch. So to, hey, one place so, with good fried chicken you should try is uh, Easy Eats. Easy Eats, not bad. It's easy Eats, very good. Okay. Affordable also, you get like this much chicken mm. for like 600 bucks. Easy Eats. Sponsors. I feel like at this point you don't really care about the you don't really care what restaurant you you just like throwing out restaurant names. Yeah, you're so pathetic. We're like, begging you. Like, <laughs> please, sponsors, feed us, please. Anybody? Yeah, it's like some guy with Momo Wala. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. know what's the most annoying thing that's been happening now, which I'm finding a lot of restaurants are doing. What? They call anything spicy, right? Yeah. yeah. It's drowning in that samyang sauce. Yeah. And uh-huh. I don't like that because I'm like, you can't just like drizzle. Ramen sauce on something from the two x spicy noodle, and then say mm-hmm. it's spicy. Like to me, that because the flavor is going to be the same, and I'm yeah. so f- and we, I think we are all like so familiar with this. Yeah, I mean, dig, dig, you know this. Yeah, and then it's annoying, and, and and again, it's a sweet sweet spice which I'm not into. Mm. Maybe some people like it, but then yeah, I don't but then, like I don't like it when people say something like, "Oh, we've got spicy fries," or think, and it's drowning in samyang sauce. Like it would be really cool for me if you all actually made your own like. It's not so, 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 that hard to make, yeah? Yeah, my, my, my mom and my sister and even my uh, even Tenzin, you know, when they make spicy stuff, mm. like, you've eaten food at my place, you know how searingly hot we like our food. 
And like, I prefer that sort of, like those sort of more than like just taking something from a noodle packet and like. Mm. Yeah, but it's not accessible. Yeah. And then now you get it in the big ass thing also. Yeah, in the bottle. Uh, yeah. And you get gochujang also now in the thing here. Yeah. Well, but hella expensive, it. god damn, it's like 900 bucks there. Gochujang. And then what else you get? Lao Gun Ma. No, I. Lao Gun Ma, man, that's the best. Lao Gun Ma, shit. So there's a Chinese easy shiwa with the old lady in it. Bean. Oh my god, they turned old lady into pickle. <laughs> it's not pickle also. It's chili oil. Very good. Oh, I think I've seen it. Okay, is, it is it chicken Chicken oil, oil, mm. oil you get beans. Jamie, pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> pull it up. Lao Gan Ma. I feel like Nordland just be like, Dang Lao Gan Ma. Lao Gan Ma. Lao Gan Ma. L-A-O-G-A-N. Oh yeah. Well, we get to stay him all day. I didn't know Malaysian mm. but I did not know it was that popular. Then when I went to Japan, oh, yeah. then I went to a Chinese store and it was there and we came to shop number seven and I was like, oh, this thing. Mm. Then I realized how popular it was around the world. Then. I like how we veered from like so many things to food. Yeah, because... Yeah, but that's the fun thing. That's the fun the thing about the tripod, baby. <laughs> okay, how long have you been talking? Have you been rambling on for a while? No, not. Jimmy, how long have you been talking? Norla. Damn, do you Jimmy? Yeah, you're gonna have to dock his spirit. He's just saying that because Charles is the word. You're gonna dock his spirit. Okay, anything else we can do or we can, we can wrap this shit up? Huh? Has it been an hour though? I don't think I don't so. Know. It must be it must be like roughly 30 to 45 minutes. No. I feel it has no, been. No, Five, I think we started at 5.15. Yeah, and it's only been 6.05. We still have another 15 minutes. That's for you, the guy who said, where is the Acho who looks at his phone really close? Just, mm-hmm. just, just for you guys out there who seem to have this weird thing with me looking at my uh, phone. Damn it. Uh, let me see. Five. We started around five fifteen in bed. Okay, mm-hmm. we still have, we got like fifteen minutes left. Just what you want to talk about. You can ask us something. You don't have to be the recipient of the questions. You can ask us something, or ask our opinion on something which you might mm-hmm. think is valuable, even though it's not. Okay. Valuable. Have you guys watched you? Yes. I watched I season love. one. What? I watched season two. Season three. No, not yet. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, spoilers, you never know, George. Huh? If we talk about season three. Okay. But you know what's really interesting about. Don't get into the spoiler yeah. territory. Yeah. yeah. But okay, well, how do you feel about season three? Was uh, it. I think there was not much story. Mm. No, it was just how about. How far can you take it? Like, huh? That's the whole point, yes, isn't it? How far can you take it? But I liked premise. how it ended. No. Same, I liked same. how it ended. Mm. Like now, what's mm. what can he do next? Mm. Mm. But you know what I found really interesting about you is that a lot of people seem to side it to side with what's his name Henry Joe. No, Henry's yeah. the kid. Joe, yeah. Joe. Yeah, they side so much with Joe despite knowing that what he's doing is yeah. wrong. No, because he seems like he's coming from a genuine. No, but then that's the thing. Wrong. We are also like as viewers. Mm. There is a point where you're like, wait, this is wrong. Like, if somebody did this to me, I would get creeped out as hell, right? No, but this is but then we justify it to yeah. ourselves yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. because we're like, oh, because he was, you know, mm-hmm. traumatized as a child. Yeah. And then, so we're justifying it to ourselves, which is not the correct, like, but it's really interesting what this show actually sort of, because I was reading up a lot of people, like, articles on it. Are you flirting with me? Yeah, like how he misconstrued so many things. No? <laughs> but did you see what happens? What's um, so good about this morning? <laughs> <laughs> good morning, love the look. Yeah. What's so good? What did you say? There was this guy, so you know this entire thing where like whenever somebody asks him a question, he's like, in his head, he's like, mm-hmm. but to be honest with you, I don't really understand what you want to, what you want from me. Yeah. All I know is that I want you, and if you just let me be yours, then I can make sure that nothing ever like that. No, mm-hmm. but then somebody's like, how? What would you look like if you remove that monologue? No, so it's just like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> one minute oh, of ugh. silence. There's a video compilation. We did take out all the thoughts. And he's just like, he's just like, he's just like <laughs> this whole time. Like, silence. Yeah, it's like all the time like that. It's the same like when you remove laugh tracks from supposed comedies. Ah. Yeah. Then you suddenly realize it's not funny because yeah. the laughter stimulates people to laugh. Yeah. So that's one reason why, you know, in Get Away, I tried, we, I said like, we're not going to use laugh tracks. Who said we'll use laugh tracks? No, like, it, at one point it was like I wanted like I was thinking should I use laugh tracks uh, no one said that we should but uh, I was just thinking I was like should I use laugh tracks but then I was like I don't want to f- 
tell people that you should laugh at this. I don't want people to be like, this is a joke. Like, this is a joke. Ah. Yeah, like, I don't want that. Mm. It's just like, just leave it to itself. People Mm. will find whatever they find funny. Mm. And it's better not to give them a cue, Mm. which is even like late night television shows. Like, it's not like genuine laughter. No, it's like a huge sign at the back that's like, applause. (laughs) Lily's thing, you know, Lily's thing, Superman. Yeah. Her show called Cancel World, it was apparently, of course, it wasn't funny, no, but then, Prepare beyond lost hype. They'll be like, okay, guys, let say something funny. Ha ah, ha no And so when it's taped, no, for the re- for the edit. Yeah, they it's just mastering. And they cut that laugh and then they put it into yeah, a joke. It's, and it's ADR, it's all post production at the end mm, of the day. Anyways, Papa, you, I liked. I Anis, my thing was when I watch a show and I like it more. That's a research process. So Same. I, so I'm a book do a book. So book mm. student. I read all the synopsis. Mm. I tried to differentiate between what's the difference between the book mm. and thing. So apparently in season two, you know, mm. love spoiler alert. That's in season two called Love She doesn't become that thing by the Oh uh, that's just for the show. Mm. Season two was a little predictable because at some point I was like, he can't he won't kill her because that's going to be something that's a re- you know? But I like that twist. Like yeah, she's but also then, uh, yeah, then that's uh-huh. what comes about from mm. it. Then I was like, ah, she's that's also a nice crazy twist. Tomorrow. And then. And season three, now she's the crazy one, no? Yeah. Spoiler yes. alert. At this point, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> but I always, actually don't no, no, believe in spoilers. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. spoil much when yeah. you say she's the crazier one. It's been proven that spoilers don't stop people from watching, watching it. Yeah. If anything, it's known that spoilers actually make people more curious because. Mm. It really depends on how you tell people about mm. it. Mm. It's like if you just tell them like I love it, and then it obviously diminishes. But if you like sort of hype it up a bit, mm. that's I think why a lot of shows for me got ruined because people like hyped it up unnecessarily. Oh. And when I eventually watched it, I was like, it's good, but it's oh, yeah. it's not to the level where people hyped it up. I, I watched Squid Game before the hype. Me also. So exactly. I, was like, I didn't yeah. even watch it. I just like it was just so many people yeah, talking I mean, about I it that I, I knew everything. But I get what you're saying. It was a good show, but if it was hyped up. No, it was hyped up to the yeah. point that if I had watched it mm. without that hype, no, I would not have enjoyed it as much. And I think a lot of Asians, I think a lot of Koreans are actually quite baffled by how popular it became. Because if you think about it, this formula is there, not like this battle royal situation. Like a lot of Western so people have Escape done it. Room. Escape Room, Hunger Games. Yeah. Um, what are the other there's ones? There's a Japanese Saw. one. Also. Saw. The Japanese into one. a fucked up no, no, there's another one. Japanese one, I think. I did some research that along, I said. Along the gods? My shit, and oh. do similar. Yeah. But even now, uh, Alice in like Borderland also sim- similar. Oh, Alice in Borderland. Mm. Mm. Alice in Borderland is quite similar. So, so but then at the same time, it's. I think it's that, I feel like though Squid Game is a good show, I, I believe that it's according to what a lot of people have said and how much hype it's generated. It's a good show. But I also feel like for the past year or so, there's been this Korean fever that's been taking over. I mean, past year or so, it's been a while. No, but then ever since, like, once BTS and all, like, look at the boom that is in the mm-hmm. West right now. Parasite wins the... But it's a great movie. Then. Yeah, it, it is a great movie. I'm not saying that it's not. Okay. What I'm saying is that there is this fascination that the West is now getting, that there's this, there's this rabid fascination that the West has with Korea, mm-hmm. specifically Korea, which is why even their artists are now you know, singing in English so that they can break out into thing. Mm. Of of course, that's also the language barrier, which probably the Western key because of how they structure things. If you're not speaking English, then they seem to sideline you. Mm. But then I feel like that's another factor that's sort of contributing to what's happening with Squid mm. Game and everything. Okay, thank you for the socio-political uh, no, it's reasoning. Just <laughs> <laughs> reasoning why Squid Game is popular. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying maybe that's one of the reasons. Oh, I, I, you didn't even watch it, so you get on that train. Man. Yeah, I'm going to watch get it. Get on the Squid Game. I've already... Game. But that's the thing, though. I know what happens. And I just... Knowing what happens, I... like you lose the thrill out. I thought you said spoilers do no, not... No, that's what I mean. Like, I know it, so I'm going to watch it. But at the same time, I know it's a good show. Ah, because I enjoyed the way people told me about it. Mm-hmm. And you can't avoid it. Now you go on any media mm-hmm. for the past like two, three months. It was just Squid Game so stuff. Easy. Yeah. I mean, me Roblox, stuff. what's that game? The Roblox game? It's like Minecraft, no? Yeah. They created a literal Squid, there's a like Squid Game. Like, yeah. Play yeah. Through you tell through me about my ads no man. Yeah, then Grand Theft Auto Five created mm-hmm. a Squid Game mod for them, for a Squid Game game mod. Mm. So it's, it's there and just watching it, like just being, Exposed to all that, it's already like enough now. <laughs> okay, enough's good game. My, my name, Tiger. Tiger. My name, yeah. That's pretty good, also, no? 
the, the twist did you see it coming did you, see, mm. did you watch my name no I, I think I saw it coming no. so that w- I didn't want to I've only watched Ooh. your oh. I've only watched your name <laughs> okay your name what is your name Eh, Kim Noa. Kim Noa. Wait, my name is the Korean one, right? Yes. Kim Sun Christian Slamidi. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. I, I saw it coming. Mm. And if those who guys who didn't watch my name, you didn't watch my name, so I explained to you, which I'll indirectly explain it to them. It is a show about a girl who gets her father assassinated and he apparently works for the uh, Korean mafia. So she wants to avenge his death because she That's doesn't know who killed him. So she goes, to, tries to look for him, but. His boss was very close with her father. So mm-hmm. the boss takes her under his wing. And trains her? Her wing, mm-hmm. his wing, okay. And trains her and puts her in the police as a mole to find out who the killer is. But shit goes down. Ah. Ooh. Sounds like a classic revenge tale. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. good. And then uh, there's a lot of twists and turns in between. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I fell asleep after 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it boils down to, ladies and gentlemen. No, but, the thing is, I love watching and some shows. This is my but Churu, Churu comes in the time to tell me. So I'm in the room, I'm in the iPad, is here. Like I'm this. watching this. You're watching, like I'm watching like this, exactly like this. I'm like, oh, it's a good show, but then I want him to dub it. But I finished it. <clears throat> Somewhat of it, yeah. Because I got the rest of it told to me, the story. I was like, okay, I caught up to speed. But good show. Have you guys watched The Red Notice? Mata. The new one. What did I need? I've only one? watched Burn Notice. Ah, uh, Red Notice ki reviews. I always check the reviews and watch, no? Yeah. So reviews are um, so and so. But then again, Rock is there, so I might not, mm-hmm. I might watch it. Reviews to be. I've really tried now. Like, Hema, I used to... Huh? Good? How you say? So, so. Mm-hmm. Hema, I used to do what you do where I used to look at the reviews. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, I've tried to avoid the reviews and then watch it. And enjoy it for yourself. And yeah. then enjoy mm-hmm. it for myself. Because I feel like a certain... Like, again, when you read something, that whole hyping or under-hyping okay. thing happens. What was a movie which got bad reviews which you liked? Uh, Jitsin, you start. Mm. I know one. Wait, I can't, I can't think of one. What is a movie you enjoyed? Like, let's just see if it has good reviews. Recently. Uh... I think it was Squid Game. Squid Game, yeah. yeah. Well, Squid Game has great reviews. Mm. I enjoyed Hook. Hook has bad reviews? Hook had quite bad reviews. Oh, um, shit, I know. Hook had bad reviews, but I liked it because Robin Williams... It's a good movie. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, Dustin Hoffman as Captain Hook. Yeah. It has, I think it was it Julia little, Roberts. Little, as Tinkerbell. As Tinkerbell, yeah. Oh, and of course, Dante Bosco. I have no idea who that is. Uh, if you're an Avatar The Last Airbender fan, you'll know who it is. Prince Zuko. But I enjoyed, what was it? I enjoy all the Saw movies, even though how shitty they are, because I like Saw. I stopped watching Saw, it's not that, not because of the reviews, I just, like, after a while I stopped I, I like the traps. Eh? Like, I want to play a game. You're in a car, which is upside down. And if you move, you will kill the lover of your life. Live or die, your choice. Yeah, like, who got, like, 29%? Maybe the more. 29%, mm. in bed. The... Best Saw movie that I watched was the one where they're stuck in the toilet and they have to saw their leg off. Yeah, that's number one. That's number one, right? Yeah, one. That's the best one that I that's watched. Good. That's the best one. The twist is good, no? Yeah, the second one was okay. The third one was really good. Third one? Which one was the third one? The third one was when the father goes into a thing. One guy goes into the maze and his wife is a nurse and he's trying to operate on Jigsaw but she has a big ass bomb tied to her neck uh-huh. and connected to his heart. So if his heart fails, the bomb explodes. Oh dear, okay. I did not watch the third one. That's then. a good one. And Second one is the one where the, he, the, he goes after the cop, right? Mm. I've never watched it. You never watched Saw? Yeah. Mm. Saw Chi Mata? Yeah. Do you like bad. horror? Saw is more body so horror. If you don't like horror. Mm. Yeah. So okay, maybe you don't like horror. There's another one, no, Anzum. Uh, Escape room? No. Old boy? No. But you guys type games and bear? No, and some like. uh, forest, not bay, baby. Hunger Games? No, uh, not Hunger the Games. Maze Runner. Maze Runner is wait, not. Wait, let me. It's not very similar trappy. movies to saw one. Similar movies to saw, yeah. Um, the one in the forest. Ah, uh, I know hostel. Wait, is it wrong turn? I'm gonna go. Oh, wrong turn, yeah. yes. Wrong turn is nothing like so. Eh? She oh. thinks it is. <laughs> wrong <laughs> okay. turn is the like inbred people come and attack. No, you're going to take a pee, what? I'm going to leave a pee. I'm not going to take a pee. <laughs> <laughs> wrong turn. 
Så sa de att ni gick på unga. Ja. Yeah. I want to play a game. Mm. But boys, when I turned out they were, so it really bothered me. Eh? See, I'm not wrong to interrupt, but I have never watched another. Yeah, no, when, I, when I, I watched Saw, I, my room was like, I couldn't, because every time I thought somebody would come and kidnap me and tie mm. me to a bed, and then say that, oh, I want to play games. So nightmare is a long time. It's a wrong turn, Kiji. Wrong turn, wrong turn di- they just, I mean, it's not going to, they disfigured me this anymore. Mm. Good man. How old were you when you watched it? Mashi, maybe 10? The wrong turn? Damn, that's, that's, that's not a, that's not a wrong time. wrong turn that old? You shouldn't watch it. Yeah, the original one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the first few ones. Few ones you watched? <laughs> you you watched it. John Carpenter's The Thing? I thought we come to creepy guy. Yeah, The Thing is... Okay, now we have to put that still up there. put it up there now. You're really giving Norla a lot of work. Just put Norla a random wrong turn, he's still... Yeah, that is creepy though. But in uh, horror, I like horror, see, because... I don't uh, like horror. Uh, I don't like... I'm, I get scared very easily, but uh, I like the thrill, see. Mm-hmm. So churu come to you when you, nobody's there, you turn on the laptop, you put on headphones, you watch, and just you get that I, ad- ad- adrenaline you rush. No. I, 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 I can't... I it's don't... I would love to watch horror, but I can't watch it because when you're watching our screen like this close, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> jump scare! Surprise, motherfucker! The jump scare can be a horrifying thing. Okay, I'll tell you a good horror movie story I watched, okay? So there's a movie called Unfriended. Have you mm. heard of that movie? Have you heard of that movie? No. So Unfriended is about... Uh, Being unfriended. No. Wow! <laughs> so, who <laughs> so nice would have guessed? Skype interface now. Back uh-huh. then, Skype was a thing. So it's a whole movie is in a laptop, okay? Mm. So they're in this laptop and then the um, characters are talking via Skype mm. and then there's a ghost which comes, okay? So that's the synopsis. Uh-huh. And it kills everyone. So when I watched it, I watched it in a laptop, okay? And I watched it at, I don't know, like 1 a.m. at night because why not? Okay, so I put on the thing, I okay, stayed in my room and I tell you, watch the movie. Quite spooky, pretty good, well made. And it's in the laptop interface, I'm watching the laptop, okay? So I'm already like pretty like, spooked by that time, okay? So long story short, uh, at the climax of the movie, the girl is getting haunted by somebody and she wants to call the cops. Guess what, doesn't work. Stereotype, okay? So she goes on Google, goes to Omegle. You know Omegle chat will it be near So Omegle jumps to more, she goes and she wants to ask help no. And guess what happens? First place she goes, Bhutan. <laughs> <laughs> my hair is on the back of my neck like this yeah. but the only thing which recovered me is the last time I put on the two jagas over there I would have liked it if it like it. I scared the shit out of me man Bhutan imagine was, seeing your face <laughs> fuck you man and, uh, no, imagine uh, just think about it like you're yeah, the Bhutan in the side of her thing yeah. your help me yeah. So, and you're like, wait, what? Uh, and, uh, I'll have a heart attack, man. Tonic. See, now that would be, what do you call those, like, what? where you have to make decisions while you're watching, no? Like, oh. actual interface. Oh, that'll be a good movie in there. Get a good way to freak people out, no? Oh. Uh, what's the word now? Like, I've, good goosebumps on me more. You know, you should read good bombs. No, like, Netflix good, also had a lot of those movies more. like that. Uh, uh, Black, Black Mirror, Mirror the Evil Switch. thing. Where mm. you have to choose, you know, choose your adventure. Two thing. episodes, day. My Black Mirror game and Netflix, movie. Nah? there's one a movie they call uh, Bandit oh. Switch to me, where you can choose the endings. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I've watched it. So, I think I watched it twice because I did so, oh, so often. Yeah, I watched like three times. Yeah. Yeah. Like three, four endings. You get a Netflix ending also. Mm. So you get an ending where you choose Netflix, no. There's an option like, how do you know I am watching Netflix? You can click no. Netflix, then the camera zooms out and they're in the set. Say. <sighs> and then they're in the camera, like, what? And then the sh- movie ends. That's a good one. But after that, I remember there was also this Bear Grylls game. Uh, Man versus wild game. Oh, yeah. Where you choose what he can, mm. like, what he needs. Should I drink my piss or eat the shit? <laughs> choose. <laughs> <laughs> choose. Choose wisely. Yeah. <laughs> a day in the jungle can be a killer if you don't have water. <laughs> Something like that. You always have to say. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> my favorite one was, he was like, this jungle is filled with lot of grizzly bears and I have to sleep on this chair and in this tree. Hope those bear doesn't get this bear. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> okay, with that being said, let's wrap it up here. Let's not give the editors a nightmare. Anyways, Jitsun, thank you for coming. Thank any you. parting words, any messages to all the sips out there? <laughs> mm, thank you for having me. Mm. And I saw the sips. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> you guys, thank you for having me. It was really fun, and we had a very nice conversation.、Mm. I feel like we were doing a lot of the talking, <laughs> but it's okay. That's no, usually how it, it goes. Was, it, it was fun listening to you guys. She <laughs> embalmed the movies, no? You're her <laughs> uncle. You should have it. <laughs> Why would you have? Don't you like send yeah, her like loser tribute, like loser tiru? What sort of an uncle are you? Well, one second, I need to respond to this. What can you wrap it up, kid? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for coming, Jitsen.、Uh, you can follow her socials. It'll be in the description、um, of this video.、Um, uh, you can check out her vlogs as well.、Um, it's Jitsen Rika. Yes. Right. And she's on Instagram as well as TikTok. Yes. Or you're not as active on TikTok. Not as much. But they、so、can still follow you. <laughs> I mean, the socials will be there in the description.、Mm-hmm. And yes, you can follow me and Sai as well. Our socials will be in the description, provided Norla doesn't get lazy and does not put it. And yeah, Sai Pod nineteen. Thank you all for sticking out, sticking this long、uh, with sticking us. Sticking or what? Sticking out. I was trying to say sticking out this long with us.、Uh, you, you go road to five k, baby. Five、yeah. K subs. Let's need, go. Now we're gonna go to five K subs. Now we got the Jitsen Rika cloud. We got the Tika. We're gonna do it. Yes,、man. if you are a fan of Jitsen Rika, you <laughs> follow her, and you don't follow this podcast. <laughs> There is and you follow me on YouTube too, right here, and follow Kinle too, right here. Yeah, <laughs> and we also have a giveaway that's coming up.、Um, but I don't know. By the time this episode comes out, maybe the giveaway will be done. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so probably the giveaway will be done. So, so congrats, are, to, congrats to congrats to congrats to these people. They might not be here. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> 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 but until、uh, Cyport Twenty, wow, we're gonna be hitting Cyport Twenty. Yeah.、Next. So little、uh, did we know, nineteen、yeah. episodes ago,、yes. that we'll be here、And、drinking pika with my niece. Yes, pika with Rika. <laughs> And with that,、uh, thank you so much for coming, Jitsen. And I hope you had as much fun as we did conversing. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to say goodbye. Bye bye. See you in the next one. Nola, Chuma, just go and click that. Okay, yay! That was a good one.